Clearly, aiming is the first part, which gets my bowl along the line, but obviously I've got to work a little bit on my length. I've been told that length is about a 9 out of 10 in importance to delivering a bowl consistently. Right, just when I thought I was getting it sussed. Oh, you've got the basics. Now we can work on the finer details so you can have a more enjoyable game and more consistent. Obviously, a problem with my powerful arms forcing these bowls into the ditch. I guess I need to bowl a little softer. Instead of saying softer or harder, we say slower or faster. Because if you bowl your bowl faster, it'll travel in a straight line for longer, then it will start to bend. And what affects your speed is our backswing. A tip is, we're not throwing the bowl, we're releasing the bowl on the forswing out of our bowling arm. Remember when we practiced the delivery? We took a step and our arm swung out behind us before swinging back forward. It's a natural walking motion. And when you walk slowly, your arms don't swing backwards and forth as much as they do when you walk faster. Right, guess that's one way to remember it. A faster delivery means the bowl goes further. Sounds to me like the size of the step I take is important then. You got it. The bigger the step you take, the more backswing you'll compensate with and the faster you'll deliver the bowl. And conversely, the smaller the step, the slower you'll deliver the bowl. So if my bowls are going too fast and ending up in the ditch, I could start to solve that problem just by taking a smaller step. That's a good place to start. Let's try a couple. Some with a slower swing and some with a faster swing. Get used to adjusting step and swing to affect the speed of delivery. Practice by bowling two short and two long deliveries to two jacks. 